Welcome back. Let's start with norepinephrine and levofed. And the reason we're starting with it because it's the most commonly used vasopressor in ICU in hypotensive patients in patients with shocks. So first let's see how it works. Remember the example of the uh, source of water and a pump and hoses to the trees? So basically the levofed works by affecting two parts of the system. First, it works here on these hoses and make their diameter smaller, narrower, which we call it vasoconstriction. And it has really a strong vasoconstrictive effect. And when this hose become narrower like this, you can guess if you have the same volume going through on a small diameter that the pressure will increase so that's the first thing also levofed or norepinephrine will cause he will work here as well by increasing the strength of this pump as well as the frequency so it's increase the pumping it uh, effect plus the frequency effect so it has inotropic and chronotropic effects that's how it works but remember with all vasopressors i'm going to keep saying this you have to have the water the source of water if the patient is volume depleted whatever you do here if it's going to work we're going to work temporarily and things will crash right after you have to supply the water you have to make sure the patient is adequately resuscitated with IV fluid and remember if you don't have time to think just give the patient two to three liters the only contraindication to give is pulmonary edema and you can give normal saline or lactate ring or whatever and um, you pick one of these two there is no difference so that's the first thing about how levofed works and because of this blood pressure increase right and the constriction narrowing of the um, uh, vessels here we mentioned that it will increase the frequency but be in the body because of this constriction that will send a message to the pump and because of this tell the pump to decrease the frequency again all of this should know in, in physiology I'm not gonna uh, try to explain why but the vasoconstriction will send a message telling the pump to decrease frequency and the levofit direct effect telling the pump to increase frequency this increase here and decrease here will cancel each other so the outcome of levofit on heart rate is equal so there is no tachycardia or there is actually mild brady cardia so that's if you somebody's looking you oh the patient's tachycardiac we should use different vasopressor tell him no the effect of levofed or norepinephrine on the heart rate is minimal actually it may decrease the heart rate now despite that you may still one of the side effects of levofed is arrhythmias and quick with levofed you have to give it through central line now if you don't have a central line you can use peripheral lines for a few hours but you have to use a central line to avoid extra vasation if the patient has levofed extra vasation to the tissue immediately dc it and give phentolamine directly subcutaneously into the tissue to induce vasodilation and prevent skin necrosis usually it's mixed with d5w some they mix it with normal saline if you use too much vase uh, dosing and um, again you can i usually don't worry about dosing because pharmacists they can help us with that but usually they start 8 to 10 mcg per minute all vasopressor we use mcg per minutes except I think the dopamine and dopiramine where you see MCG per kg per minute. Now, what's the maximum dose? Nobody knows. 
some nurses say two mcg of some pharmacy uh, per minute i've seen 30 and 35 i've seen some intensive is using 50. again you want to avoid over or extreme vasoconstriction which can lead to dusky toes and fingers because it causes severe vasoconstriction to these organs and may include oliguric aki so because of this you want to make sure using the minimum amount of levofit to maintain map above 65 remember with levofit it's the first agent to use whenever you're dealing with shock except anaphylaxis where you use epinephrine so if you don't want to think just remember any case of shock go ahead and use levofit you will be right as long as it is not anaphylaxis and remember not to forget about giving iv fluids Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.